video, let us learn to integrate a Spring REST API with H2 database. This H2 database is an in-memory database. Now let us jump into the application directly. Let us create a Spring Starter project. File, New, Spring Starter project. The domain model that I am going to work with this product. So let us give the application name as Spring Product App hyphen H2 REST. Group ID is product app .dast. The package name is com.productapp. Click next. Now let us select the dependencies. If you see here, the Spring Boot version is 3.0. If you want to go in for a lower version, you can select it whichever is available from here. So let me select 2.7.6. If you still want to go in for a lower version, first you create the project, then go to com.xml and change the version that you want. After that, you need to update the project. Now we are going to work with H2 database. So you can go and search for H2, H2 database. Then we need Spring Data JPA, which I am having here already. Then Spring Web. In case of H2 database, the H2 console will open only in the browser. This H2 database also will be visible only in port number 8080. So we need Spring Web. Also for creating a Spring REST API, we need Spring Web Dependency. Click Finish. The application is getting created. The application is ready. Let me add the basic setup that is needed for working with this application. This is the domain model that we are going to work with. The class name is product which is annotated with at entity. And this product class has got few properties, product name, Product ID, Price, Brand and Category. Product ID is annotated with at ID annotation. Together with that, I have added generated value and sequence generator. That is, I want to auto-generate the ID. And as usual, I have created a default constructor, a parameterized constructor without product ID because product ID will be auto-generated. Get us at the methods and to string. Then in the service layer, I have created the interface I product service. I have added just three methods, add product, get by ID, get all. And in the implementation class, I have auto wired I product repository. Using the setter method, implemented all the methods, that is I am calling the inbuilt methods of JPA repository. Let us have a look on product repository also. I product repository extends JPA repository. Fine. Together with that, I have also created a custom exception, product not found exception. This exception is extending runtime exception. Okay, fine. So the basic setup is done. Now, the main thing is we are going to work with H2 database. So we have to add the database specific properties and hibernate specific properties in application.properties file. So now let me start adding it. First, we need to add data source specific properties. That is, we need to add the driver name, URL, username, and password. So let us add that spring dot data source dot. We are using H2 database, so Spring will automatically give the value for that. Org dot H2 dot driver. The next one is the URL. Spring dot data source dot URL. So the value for this is JDBC colon H2 colon because it is an in-memory database, mem, colon, the database name. Let us have the database name as SpringDB. To get this value, you can go to the browser, search for spring.io with H2 database. Automatically, the application.properties will be shown over there. You can copy and paste the values here. Next, we need to give the username and password. By default, Spring has configured the username as SA and the value for password as password. So let me add both. So these are data source specific properties. Now we need to add hibernate specific properties. That is the dialect and DDL auto. Whether you want to create a table on each and every run or update the table. Other than that, there are many properties of hibernate. Based on your requirement, you can add it. Here I am going to add one more property as show SQL. Spring dot JPA dot hibernate DDL auto. It is create. This means 
the table will be dropped and created on each and every run. Next is spring.jpa.database platform. The purpose of adding a dialect is to inform Spring about the syntax, structure and the commands used by that particular database. In our case, we are working with H2 database. So, let us add the dialect specific to H2. org.hibernate.dialect.h2dialect. Okay. The next property that I want to add is show SQL. If you want to see the SQL statements that are getting generated while running the application, then you need to add this show SQL at property. Spring dot jpa dot show sql by default the value is false we change it to true okay now together with this we need to add one mandatory property about the h2 console this h2 console will be opening in the browser in port number 8080 this is not enabled by default so we need to explicitly enable it this is about the h2 console let me add the property spring.h2.console.enabled true. So these are the properties specific to working with H2 database. Now let me come to the main class. Before running this application as a REST API, let us add one product to the database by treating this application as a console based application or a standalone application. For that, we need to implement command line runner override the run method and let us auto wire i product service you can use setter methods also for auto wiring i am using field based auto wiring now let us create a product object we are already having a parameterized constructor so let us use that name of the product price brand and category now using i product service let us call the add product method now the application is ready select your application right click run as spring boot app now here you can see the sql statements that are generated first the product underscore sequence is getting created this is for the sequence table the other one is the product table which is having product underscore id brand Category, price and name. The primary key is product underscore id. And of course you can see the insert statements also. Now let us open the H2 console from the browser. So let me open the H2 console localhost colon 8080 slash H2 hyphen console. This is the window that you will get. Here we need to give the JDBC URL, username and password. The database name that we have given is Spring DB. The username is SA, password is password. Click connect. Now here you can see the table that is created. The table name is product and all the columns are shown over here. And also let us see the sequence that is already created. Product underscore sequence. Now select product. You will get the query select star from product. Click run. Now you can see the product table with one row. Okay, what will happen if I rerun the application by changing DDL auto to update? Will it add an extra row to this particular table or the data will be lost? Because H2 database is an in-memory database, it is volatile by nature and once you stop the application and restart it, the whole data will be lost. If you want to save the table, you need to change the URL property by specifying the place where the data has to be stored. Okay, now let us test both. First is I am going to application.properties, changing create to update. Then coming to the main class, changing the value of the product, saving all and relaunching the application. Here only you can see the table is getting created again. And the sequence also is getting created again. Let me go to the H2 console. Let me refresh. This password. Click connect. Click on product. 
select start from product click run now here you can see that the previous row was deleted and it has created a new table with a new row so to modify this approach and to save all the rows to this particular table we need to change the url let us go back to the application here open application dot properties instead of mem you change this to file and instead of spring db specify the path where you want to store the data let me have it as colon slash data slash h2 data we are going to run this for the first time with the file location so let me change this update to create save all relaunch the application the tables are dropped and then getting created and the value is inserted now let us go and check whether this particular folder is created inside d drive here you can see the folder d drive data inside that h2 data now let us open the h2 console from the browser let us change the value of the url i'll copy paste it from the application to avoid typos control c username is sa password is password click connect click on product click run here you can see the product table with one row now let us go back to the application again change ddl auto to update go to the main class let us add a new product save all relaunch the application this time this row should be added as an extra row to the product table now here you can see there are no create statements or drop statements created by spring framework because we have given ddl auto as update again we'll go back to the h2 console okay it is asking me to re-log in now you can see the second row is also added to the product table next let us convert this application into a rest api let me create the controller the class name is product controller we need to create three rest endpoints for the methods that are there in the service layer so let me open it copy these three methods come to the controller and add the methods first let me annotate the class with address controller and let me also add a request mapping slash product hyphen api let us auto wire i product service and copy it from the main class and let us complete the rest endpoints for the first method add product let me annotate it with add post mapping slash products the data comes in the request body we add our request body annotation and using product service call add product method once the product is added to the database it has to return the same product object so let me have a return statement also for the next method let us add add get mapping the url is slash products slash id slash curly brace product hyphen id and here let me use add path variable because the id is added to the url let us call get by id method product service dot get by id by passing the product id and let me add the return statement also the next method is get all for this also we will be using get mapping return product service dot get all import all fine now the controller is ready let me relaunch the application here you can see there is one more insert statement added this is because when the application is getting started it is going to the main class in the main class we are also calling add product method so this product gets added once again that's okay fine now let us test the application using postman let me open postman 
first let us call get all method so the url is product hyphen api slash products the method is get mapping and let me click send here you can have a look at the output there are four products retrieved from the database here also you can see the sql query that is getting generated the next one is get product by id product slash id slash two this is also get method only click send so here i am getting one product object you can see the sql query that is getting generated select star from product where id equal to question mark and the last method now let us try to add one product to the database so the url is product api slash products the method is post method open the body menu in the body menu select ra change text to json now we need to create the product object as a json data so within curly braces we are supposed to give it i already have one product object in the bottom so i will copy this as such add it over here now let me give a different value we don't have to specify the product id because it is getting auto generated we give the price once the product is added to the database table it has to return the same product object with all the details let me click send here you can see the response we are getting the same product object together with the product id and also the status is 200 okay now let us check this in h2 console also let me refresh the console again ask for the password click connect click on product click run now you can see that the fourth row is also getting generated so this is how you can integrate your spring rest api with h2 database h2 database is an in memory database which can be used for simple application for testing purposes that's all thank you